Right, got a vector's question here. Um, it says BC is parallel to AD, so therefore AD can be given in terms of C's, um, and AD is 3BC, so this, okay, has got to be 3C's. All right, so that's going to be useful, I, I think. Certainly with part A, it will be. Find in terms of B and C, the vector CD. So, because I've got no arrows going down, down here, I can't actually say what that is. So I've got to go along here, down there, and along there. So I'm going to go minus C, plus, uh, sorry, minus B plus 3C. Simplify that, and we end up with 2C minus B. All right, so that's the first bit, and I will rub out um, my workings out there because I don't particularly need them. All right, and there we go. So, normally with these sorts of questions, part A leads on to part B, but actually part A is not a lot of use to part B here. Now, AC, I'm going to work out AC because I, I'm going to need it here. Okay, AC is just B plus C. All right, and it says the point uh, P lies on AC such that. All right, so here we go. So P there such that that's two, that's one. So therefore, A so AC, okay, is is that. So therefore, AP, okay, is going to be two thirds of that, and that's going to be useful too. All right, so it says, uh, is BPD a straight line? So if we work out BP first, all right, that's going to be, well, I need to go from B to A first because I don't know BP, I need to go, and then I need to go uh, from A to P, all right? And so B to A is going to be minus B and then plus two-thirds of B plus C. Okay, so it's worth doing these sorts of journeys in, in little stages. When I simplify that, I should end up with, what was it, two-thirds of C uh, minus a third of B. All right, so if um, BPD is in a straight line, okay, the next bit from PD, which is what I'm going to be working out next, PD has got to be a multiple of this. So it's got to be a multiple of that. All right, and let's see if it is. Okay, so here we go. So PD, I'm going to go from P to A, because I know how to do that. And then I'm going to go from A to D. Oh, well, we can use part A, so there we go. Um, so P to D is minus two-thirds of uh, B plus C plus 3C. Right, which simplifies to, uh, what was it, it was 7 thirds C minus uh, 2 thirds B. Now, if I look at the coefficients of B and C, minus a third to minus 2 thirds is multiplied by 2. So if 2 thirds multiplied by 2 equals this, then I'm in business, if not, it's not. So, no, it's not. The answer is no. Not in a line or not in a line. Okay. And that's because, even though I've multiplied the coefficient of B by 2 to, um, to get from BP to PD, the coefficient of C doesn't multiply by 2. They've got, one's got to be a multiplier, multiple sorry, of the other in order for them to be in a line.